Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm doing another 24 hour readathon. So, I am participating in the Basically Readathon hosted by Basically Brit. This is my third or fourth time participating in the readathon, and I'm super excited to participate in yet another round. So, the goal for this readathon is to read a book that has been on our TBR forever, and so today I chose Addicted After All by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is the third book in the Addicted series, but the seventh book in the overarching Addicted. Kelly Sisters series. I have had this book forever. I bought this in December 2018, the first year that I did Vlogmas. I bought the entire series because I was excited to reread it and everything and finally finish it because I never finished it. But now, two years later, here we are. So I'm going to be reading this. I added this on my Goodreads TBR in 2016. So it's been like a while and I still have not read this book. So I'm very excited to dive into it. I've been in the mood to read a romance. So I think that's going to be great. I'm not going to give you guys too much of a plot for this because this is the third book and like the final book in the Addicted series. And so I don't want to spoil it. But basically we're following two addicts and it's their story. They're best friends. It's a best friends and lovers situation love it. It's amazing. But there are a lot of trigger warnings, including like obviously addiction, but alcoholism and I think like self-harm and a bunch of different things. So like be cautious when you dive into it, but it is really good. Anyway, I'm very excited to be reading this, but I also have The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. I don't know if I'll be reading that, but I started it. I'm on page 60, I think. And so if I'm in the mood to read something a little bit lighter and less I don't know, intense. I can pick this one up instead and also have a couple of arcs that I could get to. So I guess we'll see, but the main goal will be to read this one. It's well over 500 pages, so I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but we'll try to read as much of it as I can and we'll see where it gets us. Now, I was initially going to start at 6 p.m. I usually start at this time because I value sleep and I don't want to like mess up my sleeping schedule and I usually follow Brit's time zone. But today I went to the gym, which is why I'm dressed like this. And after that, we went to Costco. And then after that, we came home and had dinner and then walked the dog. And now it's like 7.45. So instead, I'm going to start at 8 p.m. So I'm going to do like 8 p.m. until 8 p.m. tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be able to read a lot. I do have some plans which we'll get to um, in time. So I don't really know how much reading I'll actually be able to get done, but we'll try our best. And yeah, I guess I'll get ready. And at 8 p.m. we can start reading. Good morning everyone. So it is the next day and I just woke up. It's about 8 a.m. and I've had breakfast and everything and now I'm ready to dive back into my book. But before we dive into that, I wanted to update you guys on my reading. So yesterday I managed to read 170 pages of Addicted After All and so far I am loving it. Not a surprise. I am so happy to be back with these characters. I love them all so much. I mean, I've spent seven well, this is the seventh book that I spent with them and I just, I love every second of it and I'm just very excited to continue reading about them. So yeah, I guess now we'll dive back into our book. I managed to read quite a bit. Like I read until 11 p.m. or so before I went to bed. I, I was getting tired and like I just couldn't really hold my eyes open anymore. So I decided to go to bed and I think like it could be possible for me to finish this book today depending on what happens. I said yesterday that I had plans. Well, this is not exactly true. I just know that my mom wants to do some kind of activity this weekend. Uh, she's on vacation right now. Like it's her summer vacation and because of COVID. They can't do anything. She wants to do something, but I just don't know what it'll be. I don't know if we'll do anything because we might do it tomorrow instead. I also have to help my sister out with a class. We'll have a couple of things to do today, but I might be able to finish the book and maybe even read more than that. We'll see. Let's hope that we can. That would be awesome. But yeah, we'll try our best. And now let's dive back into the book. Hey guys, I don't know why I did that. 
<laughs> that was kind of weird. But it's about 12 p.m. I don't have the exact time, but it's about 12 p.m. And I have made quite a bit of progress with Addicted after all. I'm currently on page 402. So I only have about 130 pages left to read. And I'm so surprised by how quickly I'm reading this. Like, I'm not surprised because I always read these books very quickly, but I wasn't expecting to be able to finish this whole book today. So, I mean, that's definitely going to happen. We have eight hours left of the readathon. A little bit less than that. It's for sure happening. Like I'm finishing this and I might even be able to start something else. We'll see. But yeah, so far really loving it. I'm not surprised. I cried a little bit. I also like, I laughed out loud. Like it's a book that takes me through several emotions. So I just, I... I really like this series. It's not my favorite one in the series. Like there's a couple of things that I'm just like, really, that's what you're going for. But overall, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it so far. I guess right now I'm going to go grab lunch and then after that we'll continue reading or maybe do something else. We'll see. I I'm kind of tired of reading a little bit. So we might do like something else just to, you know, spice things up a little bit, make the vlog a little bit more interesting as well. And then we'll get back to our book because we are finishing this today. This is like for sure happening. This is my prediction. I'm finishing this. <laughs> Okay, so it's now 1.48 p.m. and there has been a slight change of plans for this afternoon. So as I've mentioned, I think this morning, my mom is on vacation so she wants to do some activities and just like make the most out of her days off, which I totally understand. And so this afternoon we're going to go on a walk. I don't know where exactly. I'm thinking either downtown or like somewhere in the eastern townships like nearby but I don't really know like where exactly we're going to be going but I'm going to be sure to bring you guys along. That does mean that I will not be reading a lot this afternoon unless maybe I don't know we'll see we'll see how much time it takes us to go on this walk and like how much time I spend away from the house but I'll bring the book with me depending on where we're going I might want to read on like the way there and on the way back and I still haven't made any progress since I have last updated you but I'm not worried I can finish this book before 8 p.m and if I don't have time to read anything else at least I will have finished this book and I think this will be one of my most successful basically readathons because like in the past I typically read like one book that's about three or four hundred pages but this book is well over 500 so yeah I'm really happy that we are reading this much. Like this is probably my most successful basically readathon thus far. Not only because of the amount of pages that I'm reading, but also I just feel like mentally I'm feeling so much better. Like the past, like the first two basically readathons, I've had like mental breakdowns and everything. It wasn't that great, but now I feel so great. I'm super happy and I don't know I just feel like expressing that so now we're gonna go on the walk I might have time before my mom gets ready to read a little bit more so we'll do that and then we're going to go make the most out of this beautiful weather Okay, it's 7.30 p.m. and I just finished my book, but right now I'm going on a walk with my mom and my dog. So I'll talk to you guys right after. Be right back. All right, so it's 7.58. It's almost 8 p.m. So I think I'm just going to wrap up the vlog here. But first, let me recap you guys on everything that I read today and also the things that I did this afternoon. So I think the last time I updated you all was before I went on my walk with my mom. And basically we just walked around the downtown area. There's like nice pedestrian like places where you can go um i guess like path is that the right word i don't even know we just like went downtown and just walked around saw the nature saw some murals and just like walked around and it was really nice because we never really play tourists in our own city so it was nice to just like walk around and explore a little bit it's an area that we don't necessarily go to a lot because it's not necessarily like super close to home 
we do have to drive to get there so it, it was like nice I, I had a great time and then when we came home my mom and I made some watermelon slush and it is one of my favorite things my mom makes it every summer like she makes it once every summer and I just love it it's so good it was so tasty it really had a nice refreshing vibe and I don't know it just felt really cool and refreshing after the walk and then I am finished with Addicted After All by Krista and Vicka Ritchie so I did manage to finish it I think I finished it like right before I left for this walk with the dog so I finished it. I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It's not even a question for me anymore. I just love these books. I love these characters. So like I feel like the authors could pretty much do nothing with these characters, like bring nothing new and I would still enjoy the books. I've reached a point where I love the characters so much that I don't care so much about the plot and like the storyline even though I feel like it had a bit of intrigue even though it was really long but it didn't feel long. I read over 500 pages today which I didn't think would happen because I feel like the past rounds of the basically readathon I always end up reading like maybe 400 pages. I don't think I've ever read more than four. But I'm really happy that I reached a 500 page mark and granted if I had not gone on the walk with my mom this afternoon I probably would have been able to read something else like I would have finished this much earlier and I would have been able to read something else as well but I'm still really happy with the progress that I've made today basically I read an entire book which is awesome I wasn't expecting to be able to finish this to be honest like I thought it might be a bit too big for me but turns out it was perfect so that means that I have read 531 pages today and I'm so happy because I love this and I just had a great time it's probably my most successful round to date and thank you to for hosting this. I love this readathon even though like I don't have the best track record with it but I still really enjoy my time whenever I participate so thank you to Brett for hosting. I will leave the link to her channel down below if you guys are not subscribed for whatever reason and now I guess I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like this was a little bit all over the place. I feel like I haven't talked to my camera as much as I hoped I would but I'm easing back into filming after the reading rush. Like I, I missed filming because I took a mini break but I'm glad to be back. Like really it feels good to be talking to my camera again and being that weird gal who just talks to her camera in her free time but I guess that's it for this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys participated in the basically readathon I would love to know how you did so let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already I upload new videos every Sunday and I guess that's it and I will see you guys in my next video bye